in a recent interview, the Batman director, Matt Reeves, talked a little bit about taking over the script and the entire Batman premise from the DCEU incarnation, how it came to be, and the lawsuit related to it. So if you guys recall, when they announced that Ben Affleck was stepping down as the director of The Batman, then we found out quickly that Matt Reeves would be taking over those duties. When they put out the press release, I remember us here at CBC doing the podcast saying, well, the press release doesn't mention Ben Affleck, the DCEU. This is a standalone reboot. It's clear as day in the press release. People didn't believe it. Well, as history has showed us, it's exactly what it was. So recently, we heard a little bit about the Batman from Matt Reeves, but also some stuff in relation to Batman lawsuits and things out there made their way out to, well, everybody where we could read them. Specifically in relation to uh, infringing copyrights, lawsuits related to Batman, and all these crazy things. And in it, we got stuff related to Matt Reeves' Batman, quotes of his, uh, sort of what they were doing, and all that. And what we find out is that when he joined the project, it was a pre-existing script and screenplay written by Chris Terrio, and it was going to be directed by Ben Affleck. He said upon reading it, it was not a good project that he wanted to be involved with. And then it goes on and states that he pitched a completely different idea. And his idea was essentially, let's start off from the ground up. And what I'm going to do is actively avoid every single thing that they mention in their script. If there's any similarity, I'm removing it. So there's no way it can be connected to this old version, to anything that's related to legal Batman ramifications or anything. We're just going to do something completely different. I don't want Ben Affleck. I don't want Chris Terrio's script. I don't want any holdovers. That's my pitch. Take it or leave it. And then through discussions, they realized, well, it's the only way we got to go because we don't trust the future of this universe to go where we want it to. So in legal court documents, they reveal that essentially everybody gave up on the Batman and then the press release was put out. Hey, he's going to direct it, but don't mention anything related to the old Batman. We're going to work on that and that will come later. And then obviously it did. So now we know about how things, well, shook out thanks to old lawsuits, potential new lawsuits and things not falling in place. Oh. 